Hello everybody, my name is Phoenix Ark, and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit the XML files associated with the console edition of Minecraft. Now, I have two, two uh, examples right here. Now, these are all ones that I've modified, but I mean, the gist is still the same. You can go ahead and change the player game type. You can change this to any of the normal ones as well, such as um, such as survival, creative, adventure. You can increase the lobby duration to an insane amount if you wanted to. You could change this instead of 60 to 600. That'd be around 10 minutes or so. You could make it only update every five seconds if you wanted. And then this is the one, this is the uh, seconds that tick down. Oh, no, it's this one. And as for the lobby, that's pretty much it, really. Um, open up. Minigame 1, NGO 1, that is the battle mode. Now, for the most part, the uh, 4J team has left comments in it, which I'm sure were meant for them, but like, it makes it so much easier for us. For example, max player's default values count from 1, so that means um, value up from 1 is 8. Now, this would usually be important, mainly because, typically, arrays start at zero, so in normal counter, this would be, uh, this would be nine, this would be seventeen, this would be three, so with it counting from one, that makes it super helpful. Now, these are round lengths, you've got your, uh, you've got your 5 minutes, you've got your 10 minutes, I don't know which one this is off the top of my head, um, probably like 4 minutes or so. you got your spectate modes, I am assuming that's probably bat, head, etc. Now, these are ones you typically like. For example, place permissions. If you whitelist everything like I did with the lobby, exception IDs, then that would allow you to place anything. Destroy, same thing. Block use permissions, again, same thing. Block taking override. Now, this could be actually really fun because you could just stop every object from ticking, which is technically the default, but I mean, it is what it is. For the most part, this really is just self explanatory. Like, it's super easy to read, too. You've got your kit, you've got your item ID. You can look up a list of item IDs. Aux, I'm pretty sure that's the damage. KP score is how heavy it is, how likely it is to show up. Quantity, QTY. They even give them names. And some of them are even marked. Leather helmet. Leather boots, wooden sword. You got the full nine yards. These items will begin filling the chest after so many minutes. Yeah, like. Super cool. You could head down to the bottom. Go at it from the bottom up. Top down however you want. Anyways, that'll really just be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.
and as always, have fun modding.